All right. Hello. How are you today? Welcome back to my live streaming. All right. It's the second live streaming for today. So, welcome back everyone and thank you for joining as always. All right. So, let's get started now. All right. All right. Let me get that ring. There you go. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Hi, Hip and Ayan, Kendo777, Raymond, Maru, and Arkady. Karth, thank you for joining, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Victor, thanks for joining. All right. Ready Trader, thanks for joining as well. All right, all right. Yep, greetings, greetings. Trader, a ready trader, konbanwa, konbanwa as well. Oh, MM, thank you for joining. And also thank you for your super chat, 200 yen. Great, stay gold, MM, thank you. Thank you for donation. All right, goodness, thank you for joining. And Billy, welcome, welcome back. All right, so let's check out the market with Ichimoku Kinko Hyo as well. Okay, and I was, you know, trading the Euro Pound and unfortunately the market started to go back and I cut the loss. So I was placing a position at around this price level, like, um, like around, around here and my stop loss was right here below this 61.8% uh, of a retracement. So I was buying it, but unfortunately the market started to roll back and it just got a stop loss. So it was uh, 10 pips of stop loss. So in this time, I'm just waiting for another pushback for the market to be going up or maybe it's gonna go keep, keep going downwards. So that's something that we have to find out. Okay, so I'm not really having any positions right now. I'm just watching the market. All right. So, again, let's analyze the charts by this format, Trend Analysis by Kumo. Okay. So, uh, the 5 minute chart is going down right now. It became um, a bearish momentum right now. But, alright, let me just delete this Fibonacci first. Okay, and let's see. Let's check out the daily chart first. Okay, let's check out the daily. Alright, so in daily chart, what do we see? What do we see? Alright, let me ask you a question this time, right? So, this is a daily chart right now, and what do you see here? Yeah, we're gonna start from the bigger picture here first. And this is something that I do usually. Um, when I get get lost or when I you know, um, exit the trade, I always come back to the bigger picture and break it down again so that I can be you know, making sure that I'm doing the correct thing. So let's start from the bigger picture first again on this Euro Pound. So we're looking at the Euro Pound right now. Okay. All right, so it's Euro Pound and this is a daily chart as a bigger time frame. And all right, so how about the angle, right? What about the angle of the Kumo? Let's focus on that right now, right? How is it looking? Is a question. So, all right. Kumo is going flat right now. Yep, horizontal, ranging, exactly horizontal. Thin Kumo, price in the Kumo, exactly, exactly. Yep. So, 
Yep, that's right. So the Kumo is like a thread right now. It's horizontal and pretty much it's not really moving anywhere, right? It's just going back, go up and down, up and down. So that means, right, in this daily chart, that means the market can either go up or down, which we never know. Previously, the price was just resisted, rejected by this uh, former uh, resistance here. The price was just rejected and right now it's coming back, but we never know. It's gonna go up again or come back all the way. And that will be a scenario, but we're not still 100% sure because Kumo is like a thread right now. Yep, you're right, you're right. Yep. It was done before, yeah, and now it's becoming flat. Yeah, it changed the momentum, right? So the downtrend is ended, basically, and market is right now in the range. Yep, Kumo is flat, exactly, exactly. So yeah, the Kumo is flat right now. So in this case, it might be difficult to take trades based on the daily chart. And that's why I went to the lower time frames to confirm to write on the trend in the shorter term. But based on this daily chart, right, based on this daily chart, it's like a range right now, consolidating. And the price is not really moving anywhere. It's just sitting right in this level. And also the direction wise, the Kumo can either go up or down, which we also never know. So yeah, it's pretty doubtful that the price can will break this line upwards or not, right? Based on this daily chart, okay? Yeah, you're right, you're right. And also the price is inside of the Kumo, right? Price is inside of the Kumo. So this is something that you have to remember. But um, when Kumo is flat, when Kumo is flat, it's better not to take trades when the price is inside of the Kumo. Because it's really in the range. It's really losing its momentum right now. So depending on the situation, uh, whether to take trade or not inside of the Kumo will be changed, will be changed. So in this case, right, in this case, the Kumo is horizontal and it doesn't have any trend like a uh, trend direction right now, the momentum is losing. And plus, in this condition, the price is inside of the Kumo right now. So this is really the dangerous warning sign that you have to, you know, uh, stay away from this daily time frame. You have to stay away from this daily time frame because it just went inside the Kumo, plus it's in a range. Yeah, so, however, let's say the Kumo is sloping down. Um, hold on, let me check some other like, good examples. <clears throat> so yeah, when Kumo is in the angle and the candle gets inside the Kumo, that would be a, a possible um, support or resistance. So. Yeah, just by looking at this chart, it doesn't really work like that. Um, yeah, it's not really the case on this daily chart. And yeah, plus um, depending on the currency pair, uh, whether the Kumo works or not will change. Usually JPY related pair tends to work. So, mm. And I think that's that the reason is that uh, most of the traders in Japan are pretty much based on the JPY related currency pairs to take trades. But good example would be like here. Well, actually, this was pretty much supported by um, the Senko Span A. And yeah, this was a break breakout here. So this was not a good example. But yeah, like um, when the market is on the trend, when the Kumo has got its angle towards the downside, and let's say the price comes retrace, right? Price retrace backwards and gets inside the Kumo. But in this case, when the Kumo has its angle towards downside, then you can still be safe. You can still be optimistic that the price can keep going down towards this way. 
because the angle of the Kumo is going down right now, right? So in this case, you can expect the possible uh, resistance by the Kumo. But uh, right now, if you look at the Kumo, um, it's still downtrend, but the current current Kumo right now, the current forming Kumo is horizontal. So this means that when the price gets inside the Kumo, uh, we're not still sure if uh, this is going to be resistance or not, right? So yeah, so basically the price, the market is losing its momentum uh, direction. So we better stay away from this time frame. So, all right, let's look down to one hour chart and see what we can find. All right, so this is one hour chart, right? One hour chart on Euro pound. And what do you see here, all right? What do you see? Any comments? The shape of the Kumo, um, you can look at single span B, the angle, right? The thickness and also the gap between highs and the Kumo. Right. What are your findings here? Any answers? It's an open question. Anybody can just participate and type your answers here. In the meantime, I will drink my favorite peppermint tea. So yeah, this is a one hour chart right now. And what, what would you see here? Any findings here? Okay, okay. Oh, do you analyze your past trades on why they might have gone wrong. Yeah, yeah, I analyze my past trades, of course, of course. And I make my correction. Yep, yep. It's very important to look back your own trades. Any chance for I look at uh, BTC USD? Also, how's how's going the work with your Ichimoku ebook? Yeah, yeah, Ichimoku ebook is coming. It's coming, it's coming. I'm working on the last chapter right now and it's almost done. Yeah, and hello Marek, thanks for joining and um, yeah, welcome back to my live streaming, all right? See, see Saba, thanks for joining as well, all right? Okay, so up Kumo with flat B candles close to Kumo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right, going flat, but still up, right? Up, retracing. Mm -hmm. Flat both, big gap. Yep, yep. Span B is flat, retracing. High again, trend master. Welcome back, welcome back. All right. Up, Kumo, single span B start to sloping down. Mm -hmm. Kumo is flat and very close to entering the Kumo. Exactly, exactly. The price is basically heading towards the Kumo right now. So, yep, yep, everybody's right, everybody's right. So basically, this is up Kumo, this is up Kumo. And it's becoming horizontal, but uh, I would say it's still up Kumo here. It's moving up. And Senko Span B is, yep, it's flat, it's flat. And as you can see, the market is retracing right now, right? While it's on bullish. The market is retracing right now, but overall, it's still bullish. It's still bullish. So one hour chart is more reliable than looking at the daily chart because there are more information, more concrete information here, right? And also the high right here is a little bit closer to the previous high. So that means also the market is losing its momentum right now. <clears throat> However, if you look at the Kumo, uh, the thickness of it, uh, it's pretty thick, right? The Kumo is pretty thick. And that means visually, most likely the price will be bounced off to the upside. 
So that would be an expectation here. Um, so yeah, because this is not really thin. So the price, yeah, the candlestick might be going inside the Kumo. And yeah, like you saw in the daily chart, if the Kumo is like a thread, very thin, then it might be doubtful that the price may keep going down or not. But in this case, the Kumo itself is very thick, right? It's not like a thread, but it's like a very thick Kumo here. So that's why it can work as a support. And that's something that we can expect here. So the thickness of the Kumo is very important too. Very important. However, right now it's bearish. It's bearish, so we cannot buy at this moment. Um, uh, we never know um, until which price the the market will keep dropping down. We're not sure, so we just wait for the possible pushback. But yeah, for now I think it's still the bullish bullish momentum. Yeah, the chikou span is dead crossed to these uh, candlesticks, and also Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen is dead cross too, right? So, yeah, yeah. There's a higher chance that the price will be inside the Kumo, but because the Kumo has got its thickness here, uh, it might be supported and it keeps going up, is the possible scenario. All right, so basically we just wait for the retracement and also the pushback, the next pushback to the upside. And as far as I look at this one hour chart, uh, the possible pushback will be either when the price touches on this single span A first, right? That would be a pushback point. And also Chikou um, span will be gold crossing the, the candlesticks and also Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen will be gold cross again. That will be a possible pushback. So yeah, I think that the fastest, the earliest thing that can be happening will be the candlestick will be inside the Kumo. So when the candlestick touches on this upper Kumo, Senko Span A. Um, we can actually prepare for the pushback. And when you see that the pushback might happening, then you can go down to like 15 or 5 minute chart and see the chart formation there. Alright, so yeah, for now I think it's still uptrend. So we're gonna just wait for the possible pushback here. All right. <clears throat> yeah, up Kumo Senko Span B start sloping down. Yeah, Kumo is flat and very close to entering the Kumo. Yeah, I read it already. Yeah, so strong volatility in the direction of the Kumo with flattening Senko Span B most likely to range and penetrate the Kumo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that might be a possibility. So that because the, there's a thickness in the Kumo, I say there might be a possibility for the price to be supported and keeps going down, but you have to prepare the scenario that the price keeps going down too. And in the meantime, you have to focus on the thickness of the Kumo, because if the price keeps going down, then the Kumo itself is going to be thinner and thinner. So right now it's still thick, so we can still expect the bullishness. But uh, as the price keeps consolidating here and gets inside of the Kumo, the Kumo itself is going to be uh, shrinking, right? Uh, it's get thinner, and eventually it's gonna turn to bearish Kumo. So yeah, we have to watch out for the thickness of the Kumo as time goes by. Yes, yes. <clears throat> Hi, Arkaz. Thanks for joining. Ichiban Dojo. <laughs> All right. Hi, Zero Sam. Thanks for joining as well. All right.
Well, that's great. Congratulations on the Ichimoku book. That means we'll soon be having the best Ichimoku PDF ever. I think so. I think so. I am actually working on it for the couple of uh, for the last few weeks, and it's turning out very good. Very good. It's actually 15 chapters, and I've got uh, you know I have um, I put uh, all the chart examples from the recent ones. Um, and also the original diagrams to be able to understand more about the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So, yeah, it's not like a PDF now. It's like it's like ebook, right? It's Ichimoku Master Guide ebook. So, yeah, yeah. And just for the heads up, um, I want to actually based on the pdf i want to lecture um you know within the closed community i want to lecture how ichimoku kinko hyo all works based on those uh, the ebook so that you can fully understand uh, what's on the book so based on the real chart a real time chart i will uh, explain everything about ichimoku kinko hyo from chapter 1 to chapter 15 and so that you can fully understand what's going on but because by just telling you like okay the kumo's shape it's thick thin right and single span b is flat kumo is moving up it's so visual right it's so visual and it's visual and it's powerful but if you know the logic behind then you can actually apply to any charts that you're looking at or any stocks market you're looking at or any cryptocurrencies you're looking at so that's where the beauty comes about the knowledge and wisdom and to, for you to be able to do that, you need that PDF, I think. You need a correct understanding of each lines and also how basically Ichimoku Kinko Hyo is created and what purpose, what it actually looking at, the market, things like that. So that you can actually have more deeper, uh, not only the knowledge, but also the wisdom, right? Uh, the understanding of the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So, yeah, based on the PDF, I'm thinking to lecture it for those who wish to, who wish for me to, you know, uh, lecture it. So, yeah, but it's coming, it's coming. It's turning out so great. Yeah, I said it last time, but, um, you know, still, after creating the PDF or the ebook, right? <laughs> I call it PDF. Um, yeah, after creating that ebook, I myself think that. Um, you know, I, I I wish I had that kind of PDF before uh, when I started forex trading because I never find the similar things like that. I never find a book like I'm creating right now. So, and especially in English, uh, it's so rare. I think so. Yeah, I'm proud of myself for creating it. And actually, you know, you encourage me to create it. So thanks to you, everyone, for putting me on the hard work so that it can be completed. Yeah, don't call it PDF. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not the it's not a, you know, a few pages long PDF. It's like a whole bunch of like pages within that ebook. So Hi Kuben, thanks for joining. All right, all right. Welcome, welcome. Kumo is getting thicker. What does that suggest? All right. So when Kumo is thick, that means it can work as a resistance or support when the Kumo has its trend, right? When the Kumo has its trend, it can work as a support this time. Are we still live? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. I do this every day. I do this every day. So don't worry about it. I'm not gonna be gone after creating the ebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will be in front of everyone every day. So don't worry about it. All right. Hi, K. Greetings from the UK. I only just spotted this webinar. Will you be doing at any more? Thank you. Sure, sure, Melanie. Thanks for joining. First of all, uh, welcome from UK. 
And yeah, I do this webinar or I do this live streamings every day, twice a day. So yeah, you can, you're always welcome to join. Sure, sure. All right. Is it possible to find a trading edge intraday every day? Yes, yes. If you look at the lower time frames, there are always a chance to trade. That sounds awesome, thanks. Sure, Billy. Sure, sure. Looking forward, sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna turn great. It's gonna turn great. Raymond Sun too, yeah, it's gonna turn great. Okay, okay. Hi, Chan, konnichiwa. Thank you for joining. Konbanwa now in Japan. <laughs> it's at night. So, anyways, one hour chart is trending, uptrend, but the market is deeply retracing. So, we have to wait for the pushback, the possible pushback. And the first thing that you can look for is the support on this Senko Span A based on this one hour chart. Right? So, let's go down to the 15 minute chart. Okay, <clears throat> all right, so this is the 15 minute chart. 15 minute, one five. And if you look at this chart, what do you see here? What do you see? All right, this is the 15 minute chart of Euro Pound. And how is the Kumo, right? How is the Kumo doing? What's the angle? And also, what the Senko Span B? How is the thickness of the Kumo itself? All right, somehow the light is blinking. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna turn off anytime soon. Oh well. Yeah, so how is the Kumo looking right now? Is a question. It's open question. Any, any anybody can participate. And if you participate, type, move your fingers and type your answers, then that can be your input. So I encourage you to participate for this session. I ask you some questions, you know, um, time to time. So you're always welcome to join. Okay. Okay. Very excited about the ebook. Sure, sure. Thank you so much. Sure. I read English books on Ichimoku, but I always felt that something was missing. So I'm super excited to see your work based on those videos. I'm really excited. Sure, sure. Yeah, because basically what I'm saying right now on this live streaming is so limited. I have so many things, so many more things what, that I want to say, but I want you to fully understand about the function, each functions, and that's why I'm going very slow, very slow here. <laughs> right, basically I'm only talking about Kumo and that's it. And I'm not really actually talking about Kumo, I'm just talking about how it looks. <laughs> but still, it's powerful, and that's why I'm showing it to you. But yeah, when I talk about Kumo, maybe I can just go on and on for about a week or two weeks, just by Kumo, so yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So yeah, it's going down. It's going down. Yeah, the Kumo is going down. Yeah. Hi, Red. Thanks for joining. Sure, sure. All right. Yeah, because I'm not really trading on this pair anymore. I just closed the positions. All right, going down. Down Kumo, downtrend. All right. Thumbs up. Don't forget, guys. <laughs> sure, sure. All right. Please, please like this stream if you liked it. And please subscribe if you haven't, because I'm doing this live streaming every day. And I am exclusively talking about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. And this month's topic is the Kumo. And that's why I mainly talk about Kumo this month, so that you can fully understand and become a master of Kumo this month. Okay, so, yep, yep, down. Spam B is down. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Kumo is going down. Horizontal, still thin, narrow, sloping down. Hell. <laughs> Hell. Kumo is going down at the moment. Yep. 
exactly. Single span B is down. Yep, yep, exactly. 15 minute high test bar. It looks like a reverse candle signal to me. Okay, okay, reverse candle signal. All right. Yeah, basically it's going down, right? It's going down, basically. Kumo looks down, Chiko and Tenkan Kijun too, but there might be resistance soon as price approaches to the 100% retrenchment from the previous long flat Senko Span B. <clears throat> mm, yeah, yeah. It's retracing, yeah, it re retracing backwards. So, yeah, it might keep going down. It might keep going down. Kumo looks down, Chiko and, oh yeah, I said that. that. Hello, okay, Kumo slightly getting down, still flat to me. Sure, sure, Nicolas san welcome, welcome to my live streaming. And yeah, um, it's either flat or down, right? It's not really up, it's not really moving up, and that's a point, that's a point. I would discount, I would discount your work here, your videos, videos, clearly many of, uh, of the confusing stuff things makes it feel like a whole different system entirely. Your work is gold. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for your words. Thank you for your words. I thought my explanation is so confusing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I try to be simple here. I try to be simple. I can explain about the calculations and you know all the lines and information that and everything, but that's not what you want for, right? That That's not what you want. What you want is whether the market is moving up, down, or horizontal, and that's it, basically, <laughs> right? To be simple. And Ichimoku, I think, is the best indicator to capture the market trend and momentum. So, yeah, yeah. Hi, Eddie, thanks for joining, all right. Kumo is expanding so we can have consolidation. Yeah, yeah, Kumo is expanding. Right now, it's th still thin. This is still thin Kumo here. So, but it's sloping down. So it's it's a bearish momentum right now. Yep, yep. <clears throat> There's a cafe named Cafe Kumo at Jakarta. Oh, okay. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Cafe Kumo. Okay. Well, actually, Kumo has two meanings in Japanese, so I don't know which meaning that is. Kumo, one meaning is the cloud in Japanese, and also the other Kumo is tarantula. Like spider, spider. Spider is also called Kumo in Japanese, so I don't know which one the cafe is named after. <laughs> if there's a mark, like a cloud looking like mark, then maybe that cafe is talking about this Kumo. But yeah, it's down, it's down. <clears throat> Cat JP, yeah, I closed Cat JP already. Yep, I did, I did. So yeah, basically it's downtrend, right? It's downtrend in this 15 minute chart. So basically we don't have any clues where the market is going to be pushed back. Is a point, is a point. So, um, I cannot take trade, I cannot take buy at the moment because yeah, right now the Kumo is basically it's flat still when you include the previous Kumo from here it's still like horizontal to me and looks like it's going down but it's gonna go up anytime soon it's gonna be within this range I guess, the Kumo so in this short term the market is bearish bearish so if you scalp a sell is the right call to just take few pips out of out from the market but if you want to trade the, like a daily to a swing trader then you have to look for the pushback to actually uh, make the profit um, keep extending so yeah right now it's sloping down everybody's right it's sloping down, so there's no pushback confirmations yet. Yeah, and in this case, there are so many scenarios that you can create, so basically it's kind of meaning meaningless to create a scenario in this case. 
so for example all right let's say mm, right so okay this might be a uh, reverse head and shoulders like this and the price might go up and break the kumo and keep going up right and yeah there might be but in this case there's no confirmation that it's gonna be head and shoulders so when it's going down basically when the kumo is not really moving anywhere then you cannot create a scenario basically you can create like millions of scenarios and you can you know just expect the direction but it's really difficult to capture the trend direction at the moment so in this case we just better stay away and i think the five minute chart the kumo is going down too yeah the kumo is going down in this five minute chart too so yeah we have to wait until the kumo twist to the upside then we can talk about where to buy but at the moment we cannot talk about where to buy because it's bearish momentum so yeah we're not gonna look at this chart anymore <laughs> okay okay Check the breakout candle from um, SNR price will retest the support and drop. You're talking about the 50 minute chart, right? <clears throat> oh, breakout. Okay, you're talking about here? You're talking about um, this one, the previous low? Or the, this one, the even previous low? Yeah, anyway, it's, it's going down, so yeah, we cannot talk about buying on this market. So let's move on to the other um, chart. All right. How about pound dollar? Hi Wasan. Don't worry, don't worry. Welcome, welcome back to my live stream, Wasan. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Alright, so yeah, let's look at the pound data here. And we're gonna start from the daily chart again. Okay, so in this daily chart, um, if you look at the Kumo and also the angle, Senko Span B, the thickness, how is it looking? How is it looking? All right, let me just ask you. So we're looking at the pound data. Daily chart. And if you look at the Kumo here, is it moving up, down, or horizontal? And I think it's obvious, but just in case, just in case I'm asking. And also you can look at the current price, where the current price is, and how is the possibility for the price to keep going up right is it keep do you think it's gonna go keep going up in this case or you think it's gonna go inside the kumo which possibility is more higher in this case euro chf downtrend all right all right make sure you follow the bigger trend you follow the bigger trend always. Okay, so P 
pound dollar daily chart. All right, we get some answers here. Okay, uh, thin flat, thin flat, thin range, horizontal flat, horizontal into the Kumo flat, right? Inside the Kumo, less possibility to go up. All right, but it could form a morning star. Okay, okay. Um, horizontal, very thin, go up has higher chance. Okay. Horizontal flat, price should head up in the range. Okay, thin flat, penetrating the Kumo as the Kumo already twisted, less bullish power. Yep, yep, that's true, that's true. Inside the Kumo, right? Yep, go inside the Kumo, more chance. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, the price is likely to be inside the Kumo afterwards because there's no direction. Right in the Kumo, the single span B is flat, and it twisting um, to up Kumo and yeah down Kumo, and now it's twisted to up Kumo. But right now the market is obviously going towards the Kumo, and it's gonna go inside anytime soon. Right. <clears throat> so. Yeah, basically in this case too, in this daily chart, um, there's no direction in the market, so we cannot trade. We cannot uh, confirm uh, where to buy in this momentum. Yep, yep. <clears throat> okay. All right. So let's look at. All right. So right now it looks like it's been supported by the Senko span A. So let's see if this if this is going to be a support or not, right? Let's see if this support, this Asenko span A, is going to be a support or not in this daily chart. And let's try to confirm the support in one hour chart, right? Let's look down to the four hour chart first and see what we can find. Okay, so again, this is a four hour chart we're looking at. And how is a Kumo looking in this four hour chart? How is it looking? So the Senko span A in daily chart is looking like this, right? And it's almost touching the Senko span A of the daily daily time frame. And we want to know if this is going to be a support or not. That means if the price is going to be keep going up or not from here. That's something that we want to know. And in this case, by looking at this four hour chart, what would you say by looking at the Kumo here? Do you think the price is going to be supported here and go up? And today is a Tuesday, and we had only US data related news. So, right now, there's no news. All right, horizontal, for our flat, Kumo is done, flat, all right? Pound is getting weak across the board as settlement is ahead. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, it's losing its momentum and pound. Yeah, that's true. Yes, for our may support and push back, okay, okay. All right, if you think it's a support, and what's the reason? What's the reason for the support is a question. Might be a Corrective push up, okay. Four hours going down, but still range, okay. Okay, no clue, right? No clue, basically. Horizontal price is flat, yeah, yeah. So, um, the Kumo is technically this is down Kumo and it's sloping down very s slowly, but the momentum is very weak, right? The bearish momentum is very weak, very weak. So, this is almost like horizontal, almost like horizontal. So like I showed it to you before, you can actually draw a support line in Kumo. 
So I was looking at the Kumo, the lower part of the Kumo here. And unless the Kumo, the future Kumo breaks this lower part downwards, then it doesn't confirm the bearish momentum. So yeah, right now looks to me it looks like horizontal Kumo. And the candles are sloping down uh, gradually, but not really in a big volatility here. Right flat, okay. Single span B flat means retracing, okay. Span A should be a good support, okay. okay. So yeah, single span B is flat. Yeah, it's flat. So basically the market is retracing while it's on the weak bearish momentum here, right? So basically we don't have any confirmation that this can be a support. Maybe technically you see a support like twice here, but that's it, right? That's it. So yeah, I will look down the lower time frames to see how these supports were looking like in smaller time frames. But just by looking at this 4 hour chart, there is no significant lines in the past. And it just happened, right? To me, it looks like it just happened to be like tw twice support here. And I don't see any reasons, other reasons that this can be a support because the Kumo is basically moving down and Senko Span B is horizontal. And when you look at the distance, right, when you look at the distance between the Kumo, the gap between the lows and the Kumo, right, uh, the fourth point that you have to look at, if you look at the lows, it's far, right, it's kind of far from the Kumo here, relatively far. So, yeah, so that means the price might keep going down gradually with a slow momentum here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, all right, let's look down to one hour chart and see what we can find. Okay, so here is a one hour chart. All right, so we're taking magnifying glass and getting closer and closer. So, all right, if you look at this one hour chart, again, Kumo is moving horizontal now. Well, overall it's down Kumo, but technically right now it's moving horizontal. And Senko Span B is also flat, right, it's flat. And the price is heading towards the Kumo now. But if you look at the previous history, it was supported here, uh, sorry, resisted, it was resisted here. So it might be resisted like in a Senko Span A and the price might keep dropping downwards. But anyways, I don't see any confirmations for the price to keep going up in this case. Yeah, the candlestick started to interact with the, uh, the uh, sorry, the chiko span started to interact with the candles. So that means it's into the range also. Yeah, and if I look at this double bottom here, um, yeah, there are wicks pointing downwards on the second bottom here, but still, um, it's not really the confirmation to buy at this moment. To me, it's still, it looks like it just happened like this, and that's it. So, to, to make it concrete, it should be tested like a couple more times, like here, and should be going up.
yeah, let's see how the price action is gonna play. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, as far as I look at the candlestick formation too, there is no clue, really. All right, down, along with the Ichimoku parameters, okay? Yeah, exactly. Along with the Ichimoku indicators, you look at the price actions as well. Okay, Kijun Sen. Kijun Sen is right now horizontal. Horizontal. So that means it's also the confirmation of the market is in the range. The big funds got the price by the pullback. They are gonna move the market down now. Yeah, when it happens, actually, you just follow, right? Basically, you just follow the breakout of the recent low. Or you look at the Kijun Sen, and when Kijun Sen start to slope down, then you start to think about the sell. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, whenever the big guys, right, big boys, uh, are like um, manipulating, <laughs> if you will, uh, the market, you just follow it, right? You just follow it. So, but if you know how to follow it, then it's not really scary. Wave P or Y? Um, this is not really a P or Y. So yeah, basically there is no clue that that we cannot find any reasons to t t take buy here in this case, right? There is no reason to buy at this moment. Um. So yeah, pound data is not really the one to look at so far. Yeah, it's retracing backwards in the daily. Okay, okay, so let's see. How about the gold? Alright. Let's look at the gold and see what we can find here. Again, there is less volatility today. So the market is not really moving actively. But um, if you look at the daily chart like this. Um, yeah, the market is retracing. The Kumo is just becoming horizontal now. Single span B is flat, right? B is flat. And also Kijun Sen is flat. So that means the market can either go up or down, and we never know in this case. So overall, it's still a bullish momentum. So we better look for buy in this case, rather to sell in this situation. But uh, we we're not sure exactly when it's going to be pushed back. Um, you can draw a line like here, and the previous rejections might be the current support. So it might be supported here. And the price may keep going up from here, but by just by that reason, it's too weak. Too weak. We have to have we have to have more confirmations for the price from this price level to keep going up in this case. And actually, all the indicators in Ichimoku Kinko Hyo does not really tell you the place to buy. So yeah, it's it's difficult to actually uh, place a buy in this case based on the daily chart only, right? Based on the daily chart only. So, yeah, why I say, like, why I watch the daily chart first and keeps uh, uh, analyze the lower time frames is that because, um, first of all, I take profit based on the daily chart. And also, if you know, by the daily chart, if you know the price can go either direction, right? So I said the daily chart, the Kumo is horizontal, Senko Span B is flat, and 
Kijun Sen is also flat, so that means the market can go either direction. And if you know that, then wh whichever time frame, whichever lower time frames you look at, you think that okay, the price can keep going up or down, right? The price can go either direction in daily chart, right? So this is one hour chart, but based on the daily chart, it can go up or down, right? Or based on the daily chart, if you see the 15 minute chart, or let's see, if you look at the five minute chart, and if you see that it looks like it's uptrend, but in the daily chart, it can go either up or down, right? It doesn't have any direction in the daily chart. And that's very important to know. That's very important to know. Um, yeah, well actually in this case, there is not, this, this case might not be a good example, but let's say you look at the 15 minute chart and let's say you see the bullish Kumo here. Let's say you see the bullish Kumo in 15 minute chart and the price keeps going up. Then based on the 15 minute chart, you might think it's a buy, right? But if you look at the daily chart, the uh, Senko Span B was flat and the Kijun Sen was also flat. So in that kind of situation, even if you see the 15 minute chart and if, even if you think it's moving upwards, there's a possibility that the momentum will lose its momentum and it's gonna retrace backwards. There's always a possibility for that and you know it from the daily chart and that's an important thing. Right, that's an important thing. So, if you only look at the 15 minute chart, 15 minute chart, and take trade, you might be maybe okay, but still, right, there's always a risk for the retracement, for the turning the head backwards. No matter where you sell or buy, if the daily chart says there's no trend in the market, then even if you see the trend in lower time frames, it can go backwards anytime. And that's what actually daily tells you. That's what daily tells you. And that's why uh, it's a very important to look at the bigger time frame, especially the daily chart. So, yeah, basically that's a rule. So in this daily chart, it's horizontal again and it's not really moving anywhere right it's it can go either up or down and by knowing that you look at even the lower time frames to take trades right you look at the one hour chart and right now it's kumo is also horizontal so in this case you never take trade right you just stay away from this pair and look at other pairs or just do your own thing right but if the one hour looks to be down for example, then you can look for a chance to sell on the market, but always make sure that the price might retrace backwards anytime soon because daily has no trend in the market. And that's what Kumo actually tells you. And that's why uh, when daily chart has no direction, uh, whenever you place buy or sell, in lower time frames, the stop loss first of all should be very tight, right? The stop loss should be very tight, and also you cannot expect a big amount of profit because it doesn't extend along with the daily chart. Do you trade divergence K? How can we trade? along with Ichimoku. Yeah, I do. I do take trade by the divergence of the stochastics. Basically, I follow the trend. Basically, I follow the trend. So when there's a trend, for example, um, yeah, Euro JP, one hour chart, it's on a trend, right? Basically, it's moving up. Right now, it's retracing, but, but it's in the middle of the bullish momentum. So in this case, I only look for a buy, right? I only look for a buy chance and I look at the divergence on the stochastics and look for the divergence for the uh, for further confirmations to take buys. All 
right? Okay, the Ichimoku community is growing. We are having more and more live viewers. Hey, you guys, please hit the like button. Sure, yeah, thank you, Zero Sam, for encouraging everyone to hit the like button. <laughs> yes, yes. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, it keeps me going, really. So, I appreciate it so much. <clears> okay, <throat> I don't know if it's really. If it is right to say it here, I'm really grateful to, to you because your teachings on Kumo multiple time frame analysis has helped me to understand what the higher time frame is doing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, yeah, uh, whatever indicators you use, basically you have to combine with the multiple time frames so that you capture the market trend. And if you want to follow the market trend, and that's something you have to do. You always have to check the bigger time frames and um, get it smaller time frames. So, yeah, I'm talking about Kumo, but you can switch it to the gold cross, right? Gold cross of the uh, moving averages too. Like when you say, let's say you in the daily chart, you see the gold cross on uh, on your moving averages, right? Whatever parameters it is, you look, you see the gold cross. And in that case, you only look for buy. Basically, you only look for buy and you go down to like one hour chart and also look for gold cross only, only. And when you see the gold cross on one hour chart again, right? also then you even go down to the 15 minute chart or five minute chart and look for another gold cross and take buy. So basically that's the like a simple but universal like rule if you want to follow the market, right, market direction, trend. And I think that's the best way to take trade because you can really let the time work for you. You can, you don't have to stick with the chart all day long, right? Uh, when you're sleeping, you can still uh, run profit that way. And I'm doing this by Ichimoku Kinko Hill, so. Yeah, but that's a rule, that's a rule. <clears throat> Pound Newsy, oh, okay. How is it looking daily on Pound Newsy? Will be the question. So based on Ichimoku, is it actually difficult to take pullback trades as pullback often leads to flat Kumo or am I thinking wrong? Yeah, you can actually take trades by pullback. Of course, of course, there's a way to do it. Um, Yeah, yeah. But if I talk about it, maybe it's going to be another next two hours or three hours lecture. So I think that topic will be uh, will be covered on another live. But yeah, there is a way to actually capture the uh, retrace. I mean, the top price level of the market by looking at the Kumo, by looking at the Kumo. Well, actually, the location, the relationship between the Senko span 2 and the price actions you can actually capture the possible, um, yeah, possible like retracement, a retracing spot on the market. And also, yeah, when it's pulling back, when it's pulling back, right, you know it's pulling back right now, right, because daily chart, uh, sorry, this is one hour chart, and the single span B is flat. Um, it's gradually moving up, but you can still think that this is flat, right? And it also broke this Kijun Sen downwards, and the Chikou span started to interact with the candlesticks now. So this is really the time of the retracement. And when you see it, you can even go down to 5-minute chart and look for sell chance. Right, look for a sell chance instead of just looking at the one hour chart and try to find uh, where to sell you can go down to a five minute chart and you can look for a sell right in that way but always remember the that it's in the middle of the retracement in one hour chart but if you know it you can just look at the five minute chart and take uh, find a spot right trading edge to sell in this five minute chart and take just small profit out from the market 
and just get ready for the pushback. Okay, now I make consistent profit just by doing a multiple time frame analysis of Kumo from higher to lower time frames and Kumo works on any chart market because I trade volatility in size. Okay, okay, yeah. Basically Kumo works anything on any chart. A multiple time frame uh, in Kumo is very, very powerful. Very powerful. So yeah, I'm glad that you're making profit and I wish you do it constantly. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Wesker. Thanks for joining. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Euro JP right now daily chart is still in the range. It's at the top price level of the market right now. And yeah, by looking at it, uh, it was rejected twice or a couple of times before. So it might be rejected here again. And price action wise, right? Price action wise, um, I can draw a line like this. It's being supported. Or maybe if I take the lowest low and if I draw a line like this, um, yeah, uh, there's a chance that the price might be retracing backwards to this line. If this is going to be the rejection. Yeah, but I think overall sentiment is bullish, bullish. So we can still look for the buy point in this Euro JP here. All right. So okay, just looking at um, just looking at the CAD JP that I was trading before. Um, yeah, right now gradually it's moving up. Uh, I'm looking at the CAD JP right now. Cat JPY and let's start from the daily chart first. Daily here, all right. So daily chart. All right, it's still moving up, right? It's moving up. The Senko Span B is beautifully moving up, right? Unlike other pairs, this is so beautiful. And also Kijun Sen is also moving up beautifully here. Right, so this is a pair that we want to take trade to buy because um, wherever you buy, you can be right basically. So yeah, daily chart in CAD JP still shows it's a bullish momentum. So by looking at one hour, however, it's in a range. It's in a range. So. Yeah, and also the candlesticks is uh, getting closer to the Kumo now. However, overall, it's still the bullish momentum, right? As you saw the daily chart, it's a bullish momentum. So in this case, even if the one hour shows uh, that it's horizontal, you can still look for the buy chance actively. Right, it's just that one hour chart shows it's retracing. But I think it's just momental because um, daily chart shows the strong bullishness. So let's look at the 15, 15 minute chart. Okay, 15 minute chart, there's no direction, right? Uh, obviously, there's no direction because um, it's been. Uh, in a range, in a range, basically. Wicks pointing up and down, right? 
so many wicks pointing up and down lots of noises in the market right now and the Kumo is flat basically it's flat um, yeah Chikou Span started to interact with the candles so yeah this is really in the range now so in 50 minute chart there's no place to buy at the moment All right, let's just look at the five minute chart here. All right, in this five minute chart too, as you can see, uh, there's no trend in the market. The Kumo is completely flat, right? Completely flat here, very thin and flat. That means the market does not have any volatility here, right? Uh, it's very small volatility in the market. And all the other three lines are interacting with the candles. So basically, this is pure range state. And there's no chance to buy. Because it's not a trend. It's not in a trend. So when you look at the 1-hour chart, it's retracing backwards, right? And it's in the range. And that means it can go either up or down. In one hour time frame, it can go up and down. It might be going inside the Kumo in one hour chart, but we never know. We never know. So, based on that, five minute chart, if you take trade, also the price can go either up or down, right? Either up or down. So, this is a situation where it's uh, relatively difficult to capture the trading edge on the market because. Of course, you can draw a line, like a resistance line and support line. Or you can, in this case, you can draw a channel line. You can draw a trend line like this. It's like a triangle formation. So you can expect a breakout, right? Price, price action wise, it's correct, right? By the price action, it's correct. And that can be one of the reasons to take buy uh, at the touch of this uh, trend line. But when you look at the Kumo, it's horizontal, so that means it can break this support line downwards easily, right? And plus, in one hour chart too, it was horizontal, right? Uh, the Kumo is uh, Senko Span B is flat, and it's retracing. Now, that means also, even if you like draw these lines in five minute chart, it can violate, um, you know, easily. In this case, usually, so. You can draw a line and take trades by that, expecting the price to be keep going up, and that will be one of the scenarios. But you always have to expect that it can break it downwards in this case, in this case, um, so that you have to place a stop loss to uh, very close to your position. If you buy it right now, you have to the stop loss should be very tight because it can go backwards anytime soon. It can touch on this recent low anytime soon. Easily, right? Easily. So, yeah, uh, if you're gonna place buy, then you can go ahead and place buy, but it's not really what I call the trading edge on the market. So, yeah, we need more confirmations for the price to keep going up in this situation. Because even if you draw lines like this in 5 minute chart, it can violate any time. So yeah, with that being said, just trust Kumo here. <laughs> right? Just trust Kumo. In this case, when it's when the Kumo is flat, no matter how much, how many lines you draw, how many other indicators you use, it can violate basically because this is in a range, right? The price can go either up or down and we never know. We never know. So. If you want to take trade based on the lines and price actions and other um, technical tools, then you can place buy. But when you see that Kumo is horizontal, you have to place a stop loss first of all. That's a primary rule. But and plus, you have to make it tight to your positions because it's in a range basically based on the Kumo here. And yeah, um, like I said before, when it's in the range, I look at the Kijun Sen. 
I only look at the Kijun Sen. So yeah, let me just let me do this. Let me just show the Kijun Sen only to make it easier to understand. So when it's in the range, Kijun Sen really works. Um, yeah, we can just um, yeah, it's okay. All right, and I will make. The Kijun Sen a little thicker here, right? So, this is a Kijun Sen, right? And Kijun means standard or base in Japanese. So, Kijun Sen basically uh, shows you the base price line uh, when it's in the range. So, that means it's the mid price of the range. Kijun Sen shows the mid price of the range. So, when, when it's a range, it works as the mid price, right? So, you can see it here clearly, the market goes up and down. Um, away, you know, from this Kijun Sen. So that means, if it goes away, it always comes back to Kijun Sen, and if it goes away, it again comes back to Kijun Sen, right? Like that. So right now, it's close to the Kijun Sen right now, the price. So we cannot trade. But if it's away, especially on this case, the daily chart is bullish. So especially when the price gets away from Kijun Sen, then you might think about buying it. In this case, it's going to be a contrarian trading, so the risk is going to be relatively higher. But just by looking at this Kijun Sen when it's the range, um, you can expect that the price will come back off, right? And if it goes backwards, then you can just close the position with break even. And you do it over time until it breaks it upwards. So, yeah, um, Kijun Sen works like that. Kijun Sen is the shows the market direction and also when it's in range it shows the mid price we call it hanne in japanese hanne price level um, market level market level in the in the market so like in this case it's right in the middle of the price right in the middle of the range right so like in the past too like if you look back like here too, right? The uh, Kijun Sen is going through the mid price of the range. <clears throat> and even in the past, right? Like here too, like here, the Kijun Sen works as the mid price of the range. So, Yeah, basically right now it's in the range. So I will look at the Kijun Sen and just look how far the price will go up or down. And I will also check the tendency, right? How many times it's gonna go up or how many times it's gonna go down will make a difference because when the price um, breaks, well actually when the price sits above the Kijun Sen, tends to sit above the Kijun Sen, then the lower part, that means um, the price is likely to go up. And that's usually the, usually the case uh, when uh, the price actually, when the market breaks out the range. Usually when the price breaks out the range, by looking at this Kijun Sen, it starts to uh, sit above the Kijun Sen. Sometimes it goes down, but it sits above the Kijun Sen. And then eventually it breaks it upwards. So, yeah, by looking at the Kijun Sen, you can actually see the capture the uh, the start of the breakout. And right now, by looking at this market, uh, it's going up and down, right? It's going up and down, and up and down, and up and down. And looks like it's not it's not really breaking towards either direction now. So this is completely in the range. It's going up and down uh, between the Kijun Sen here. So yeah, but when it's when it's got its momentum to upside, it's gonna sit above the Kijun Sen, right? It it doesn't come back to the Kijun Sen, or it's gonna come back to the Kijun Sen, but it's gonna be supported and it's going to be keep going up and so now later the price breaks the recent high upwards 
And but basically this is uh, the same thing that I'm talking about as the range breakout, right? And this uh, triangle formation will be looking like that. But you, you can draw lines like this and expect a breakout. But Kijun Sen shows the mid price of the range. And I think this one works more than just drawing the lines. Because if you can draw if you draw the line, what you can only see is that the pushback, right? You can only see you can only capture when the price pushes back up, like here, and you can only capture these points. But you never know when it's gonna be breaking uppers. But you never know when it's gonna be breaking uppers. Maybe it's gonna come back down again and maybe it's gonna be you know supported by here and it might break out sooner or later but unless the price hits these price levels um, you cannot tell when exactly the price is going to be breaking upwards by the lines but Kijun Sen by looking at the Kijun Sen you know when the price is likely to break in upwards because at that time the price is likely to be sit above the Kijun Sen it's, gonna, it's not going to come backwards, right? It sits above the Kijun Sen and it's breakouts. And yeah, by combining the lines and Kijun Sen, you can actually capture the beginning of the breakout better that way. So that was a little lecture <laughs> about how I look at the range breakout. <clears throat> So I don't usually trade when it's breaking out. Right? I don't usually trade when it's breaking out because it's too late usually. So I prefer to buy at these prices. I prefer to buy at the lows of the market. And when it comes back, I just close the position with break even and I repeat it. But you will know, right? You know uh, when it's likely to break out, right? The price never comes back to Kijun Sen anymore and it breaks upwards. So, all right. I just use this way to trade Ripple twice correctly, trade correct as well. Thank you, Kay. Sure, sure. Yeah. You're good. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you don't lose, right? You don't lose. Don't lose the first rule, right? And second rule is keep exchanging the profit as much as possible. But first rule is never lose. Is the most important thing about the market. Okay, so... I will be ending the live streaming for now. And yeah, again, if you have any questions about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, if you're new to my streaming, I have a question form like this. Uh, the link is on the below description right there. And if you click on the link, there's a form like this. It's uh, powered by Google form. And I'm collecting actually Ichimoku Kinko Hyo's questions from you. Like whatever questions you have, you can just send it to me so that I will be replying to you uh, on the live streaming. Actually, I'm thinking to do the Q&A session and tomorrow, tomorrow because I keep getting so many questions every day. So I'm thinking to do it again tomorrow. So if you can join that, that'd be great because there are so many types of, types of the questions about Ichimoku Kin Kohyo. So you can... Right, of course you can keep analyzing the chart by Ichimoku Kin Kohyo, but sometimes you can look at different angles by listening to others' questions so that you can expand your knowledge that way. And I think that's really important because you might have you know different perspective or viewpoint from other traders. So yeah, um, I will be doing the Q&A session tomorrow, so you can join that one too. Uh, yeah, I will create the reminder later, sooner, soon later after this live, so you can check what time it's going to be. Okay, and yeah, that's going to be it for today's live streaming. So again, thank you for your participation as always. Uh, it's really encouraging for me 
that you are, you are participating and actually typing comments and you know send me questions it really keeps me going so if you like the live streamings please press the go button and if you haven't sus subscribed please make sure to subscribe so that you will get notified because I will be keep, keep doing these live streamings every day twice a day twice a day every day and I only talk about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo so if you're new to Ichimoku Kinko Hyo that would be great too because uh, you might have different perspectives about the market and if you are studying Ichimoku Kinko Hyo that must be a plus too okay so I will see you on the tomorrow's live streamings but until then stay gold and cheers bye for now